Well, I was born and raised in Heber Springs. I was born in the Cleburne County Memorial Hospital shortly thereafter they quit birthing babies. Seriously, that's a true story. My dad, David Miller, is a Baptist preacher. My mom's name is Glenda. They're the greatest people on the face of the earth, and I say that in all seriousness. My mom is a saint and an angel, all in one. My dad is my hero, and he has had muscular atrophy since he was 16 years old and has been in a wheelchair all of my life. It's just taught me the value of hard work and don't quit. And uh, anyway, I've just been very blessed to have been brought up in that environment. After I got out of high school, I uh, picked up a lot of bad habits and was uh, pretty wild and reckless. And I've not shot away from that. Probably my first memories are my mom and dad being by my bed and I'm looking up and seeing a lot of really bright lights. I had no clue what was going on and I remember my dad being there and kind of leaning over my bed and saying, son, you, you've had an accident, um, you broke your neck, but you're going to be okay. I've been very fortunate to regain a lot more function than was originally anticipated, uh, but still, uh, being, being handicapped, being disabled, whatever you want to call it, um, cuts right across the grain of who I am as a person. I'm an independent-minded person. I don't like having to ask for help. A typical day for me involves getting up and we usually have a, a house project or something that we're working on. We, there, in, in this business, we've been fortunate to grow, uh, grow at a rapid pace. If we're not in session, at the Capitol, if there's an important meeting that's taking place during the interim that I feel like requires my attention, I will take time off and go to the Capitol. Being raised in the home that I was with my mom and dad and the example that they set, sitting around feeling sorry for myself and uh, not being productive with my time wasn't really gonna go over well. I, I had a son, one year old, uh, at the time of my accident and I wanted to be able to provide for him. And I wanted to be able to provide a home and you know all the things that go along with, with raising kids. And I knew that sitting around simply drawing a very meager disability check was not going to do that. And so the only option that I had was to get up, figure out what I could do, and figure out how I could make the most of my time and go at it. As far as running for public office, in 2008, I made the decision to run for city council in Heber Springs. And I love my hometown, and I wanted to do something to give back. And I had had some folks approach me about running, and I gave it a lot of thought and said, you know, maybe they need a, a redneck who's not afraid to voice his opinion about common sense in the legislature. So I decided to run and Figured it was probably a long shot, but anyway, here I am. You don't have to sit around and just uh, be disabled all your life. You may have to deal with your disability for the rest of your life, but you can be a productive citizen at the same time. I love the outdoors. I love to hunt and love to fish, love to be outside. A lot of times that's why I can't attend various conferences and other things that are taking place in the fall of the year because I'm busy deer hunting. And so don't call me when I'm in the deer woods because I won't answer. How does that sound?